In the past few videos, I've told you how to calculate your calories and how to calculate your macronutrients. On today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to distribute those calories throughout the meals of the day. Stay tuned. Hey Live Leaners, welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm your host Brad Guthrow and on this episode we're talking about how to calculate how much you should have per meal. You guys have been asking me this, you guys have been watching the last two videos. If you've missed this video, how to calculate your calories, watch this one first. If you missed this one about how to calculate your macros, watch this one, then come back and watch this one right here. This is a three series video. So you have to go here, go here, and then come back and watch right here. You guys said from last video, so how do we decide how much we should eat at each meal? Great question, and that was actually my plan to do it in this video right here. So that's what we're gonna do. First of all, what you have to do is decide how many meals and snacks are you gonna eat throughout the day. I don't care what number you pick. In my Waking the Eyes Within book, I talked about six meals a day. That's what I used to do, six small meals every three hours. But one of the issues that I found with having a small meal every three hours is you're always eating, so you always have to be prepared with the food, and it takes a lot of preparation to do that. So if you can do that, go with six small meals a day, prep your food, and eat them every three hours throughout the day. But if you're not gonna put in that much time to this or you're not gonna put in that much effort to this, pick maybe four meals a day. Living Lean is not about worrying about your next meal. So if you're having problems eating six meals a day because of the planning portion, cut it back to four and just have a bigger meal with each meal. I really don't care. So pick something that you guys can stick to. Okay, so for the example that I'm gonna show you today, we are using five meals. We're gonna use the same numbers, the same calories, the same macros what we used in the last two videos. So we have 2,000 calories. We have 200 grams of protein. We have 100 grams of carbohydrates and 89 grams of fat. Here's how you would break that down for five meals in the day. And these numbers, these percentages that I'm using, you can play with. You don't need to be 100% perfect with these numbers. These numbers are just guidelines that I use, but I'm not 100% perfect with this every single day. Don't beat yourself up if you can't stick to this. Try to do as best as you can. So here's how I have it set up. Meal number three, for this example is your post-workout meal. So you work out in the middle of the day. So we're structuring this meal plan around that post-workout meal. So for each meal, I want a balance of protein. So we're dividing this 200, 200 grams of protein over five meals because protein is a hormone balancing macronutrient. It excretes glucagon, which helps balance your fat storing hormone and it helps balance insulin. So we wanna make sure that we have protein all across the board. So we're going 20% across the board. So 20% of 200 would be 40 grams for every meal. Wow, that really doesn't look like 40, but that's 40 there. Let's move on to carbohydrates. This one is when we time around our workouts. So as I mentioned, our workout is surrounding meal three, so in the middle of the day. So for breakfast, we have zero carbs. So I want you to have eggs, I want you to have steak, I want you to have nuts. The meat and nuts breakfast, I've talked about it before, I'm gonna talk about that in a future video. So this meal is comprised strictly of protein and fats. So we're gonna have zero carbohydrates there. And when I say carbohydrates, Green fibrous vegetables, we don't count those. Those are free foods, so load up on those anytime you want. Meal number two is our pre-workout meal. We're putting 25% of our total carbs in meal number two, so that would be 25 grams. I can't write upside down. 25 grams pre-workout. Meal number three is our post-workout. So this is when we need most of our carbohydrates because we want to shuttle the amino acids and the protein into our muscles, help take us out of a catabolic into an anabolic mode. And so we're going to go 50% of our daily carbohydrates post-workout. So that would be 50 grams. And then our meal after our post-workout meal, it would be 25 grams. And then our last meal of the day, we don't need carbohydrates in our system, so we're gonna go zero. So here we go. So we have 25 before a workout, 50 after a workout, and then 25 after our post-workout shake for 100 grams. Now we're moving on to fat. So we're going high fat in the morning at 40%. So I actually have to calculate this one. 40% of 89 is about 35 grams of fat in the morning. And then we're gonna have 10% for meal two, so 10% would be about nine grams. 
And then meal three post-workout, we don't want any fat in our system, so we'll go zero. 10% for meal number four, which once again is nine grams. So for our last meal of the day, we're gonna have the remaining 40% of fats. So that once again will be 35 grams for the last meal of the day. So this is just a sample of how to set up your meal plan based on nutrient timing. So obviously, this is getting a little more advanced than our first two videos. Get your calories right, get your macronutrients right, then worry about this. The key takeaways to this right here is protein. Every single meal, every snack of the day, have a protein source. Carbohydrates, it's very important to have your carbohydrates after your workout. So that's how you distribute your calories throughout the day. Don't get caught up in this. It's not the end of the world if you don't hit these numbers. Just make sure you come close to your calorie numbers, your macronutrient numbers, because it's a big step to living lean. So in the comment section below, let me know what your numbers are like you did in the last couple videos. Let me know if you have any questions on these calculations. So if you want to know more about me, go to my website, brackoutthrowfitness.com. You can see all the testimonials on there. You can read more about me, my background, and there's all kinds of Live Lean videos on there. If you've missed any of them, check it out, brackoutthrowfitness.com. So hopefully you like this video, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, click that subscribe button up there. Give me that thumbs up to let me know that you like this video. And we'll see you guys again in a couple days. I'm going to be back with the exact foods, the exact types of protein, the types of carbohydrates, and the types of fats for you guys to add to your grocery list. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching this episode of Live Lean TV. To watch my stair exercise workout, click that thumbnail to the left. To watch my five minute plank challenge, click that thumbnail to the right. And be sure to subscribe to this channel so you never miss a future episode by clicking that subscribe button in the middle.